Never stop believing in yourself. This is a very brief overview of my thought process that allowed me to go from a suddenly single mother of seven little ones, where I was considered an uneducated, displaced homemaker by the government, to an executive of a multi-billion dollar company. As I mourned the loss of my best friend as my marriage was ending, I was also about to navigate the chaos of losing my home to foreclosure. I was being sued by everyone, down to even the paperboy. My motivation to succeed was the heartbreaking fact that I was losing the safe nest that we had provided for our seven little ones. I would entertain no other option but to not only get through this horrific time, but to succeed. I have never taken no for an answer. In hindsight, I realized that I always regarded no more as a challenge or an invitation to find another way forward rather than as an obstacle. It has served me well. And I am here to tell you that if I can do it, so can you. The world often tells us about our limitations. We are wrapped in chains of doubt, fear and disappointment, feeling trapped in a constant loop of cannot. Imagine being free from these chains. Picture yourself breaking free, embracing the power inside you, unearthing your hidden potential. For too long, we've allowed external voices to dictate our abilities, allowing them to drown our inner voice that whispers, yes, you can. In life, there are things we cannot control, but it is essential not to be defined by them. Instead, let's shift our focus on what we can indeed influence. Fear and doubt are like dark clouds. They may cover the sky, but they cannot stop the sun from shining. Your inner strength is that unyielding sun. Let's start by celebrating our victories, however small. Every step forward matters, no matter how tiny. Progress, not perfection, is the key. Remember, no one was born great. Even the most accomplished individuals once stood where you are now, full of self-doubt, fear, and uncertainty. Every journey begins with the first step. It may seem insignificant, but it announces to the universe that you've decided to move forward. Believe in your dreams. No dream is too big or too small. If you can dream it, you can undoubtedly achieve it. My dream was to care for my children in the best way possible. Setbacks and failures are inevitable on any journey, but they are not a reflection of your worth, nor do they predict your future. Each mistake is a lesson learned, each failure a stepping stone towards success. Your strength lies not in never falling, but in rising every time you fall. My life was not without hardship, but I wanted to do my best that my children did not feel those hardships. Surround yourself with positivity whenever possible. Be with people who inspire, challenge, and encourage you. Remember, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. This was not my case. I will always remember my beloved aunt asking me how I was going to get past it all, and especially her comment, who is ever going to want me with seven children. I was not hurt by her well-meaning words. I found them funny, and I added them to my bucket of motivation. I did not need anyone else to take care of me and my children. I was going to do it all myself. Invest in yourself. Learn new skills. Embrace personal development. The more you grow, the more doors of opportunity will open for you. In my case, the county determined that as a displaced homemaker, one of the programs I was eligible for was a certification course in network engineering. Information technology was something I was always interested in, and I jumped at the chance. My path to becoming a CNE, a certified Novell engineer, was the most difficult challenge I had ever experienced. I attended classes all day while my kids were at school, and daycare, and I studied all night, every night. The exams after each section were grueling, and there was very little margin for error. I failed two of the nine exams by less than two points, and one of those by just a single point. I retook them and passed. Of the 13 candidates in the CNE course, I was the only woman. And of those 13 candidates, only three passed the course and received their certifications. To say that I was extremely proud of myself is an understatement. Always remain grateful. Gratitude can dramatically shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance that already exists in your life. 
During a meeting with one of my counsellors at the conclusion of my course, I offered to volunteer to assist other single mothers as they navigated such a frightening chapter of their lives. Unfortunately, I learned that they had no ability to do that. This is your life. This is your journey. It's time to step out of the shadows of cannot and step into the light of can do. Remember, you are brimming with potential. So stop fixating on what you think you cannot do and instead focus on what is within your power. Unleash your inner strength and let your journey begin. I went from being a suddenly single mom of seven children to a wildly successful second career that I never wanted as an executive in a multi-billion dollar company. It allowed me to buy a home for and provide for my children. And I no longer had to lie to potential landlords about how many children I had when trying to rent a home. The best part is that I provided an example to my children that you can succeed against all odds. Three of my children have since followed me into the information technology field. And it is all because I refuse to accept failure as an option. I designed this sweatshirt as a reminder to myself that one can achieve anything one desires. And you can do it too, 